For more than a decade, the adoption industry has been big business in Nepal, one of the poorest countries in the world. A third of its people live on a dollar and 25 cents a day. For every international adoption, orphanages and children's homes earned $5,000. The government received another $3,000. Additional fees to agencies and middlemen could increase the total amount by two to three times. Since the year 2000, families, mostly from North America and Europe, adopted more than 2,400 Nepali children. In 2007, Nepal stopped international adoptions for two years to investigate claims of child trafficking. But law enforcement was weak when it resumed. Seeing a lack of improvement, the US and 10 other countries stopped granting visas to Nepali children by the end of last year. They do not have a system that we believe is sufficient to protect children and for us to be able to be sure that the child is in fact an orphan. The parents are told, your child is going to go to Kathmandu and get an education and then he'll be able to come back and support you. When the children often get to Kathmandu, they are put into care, they're put out to work. Some of them are adopted without their parents' permission. These are not orphans. In response, Nepal's government suspended international adoptions for abandoned children. Often found in hospitals or near police stations, it was easy for children's homes to take them in, falsify their papers and present them as orphans for adoption. While waiting for new laws, the government says there have been no international adoptions this year. But the crackdown is too late for many people.